today. Get it. Get it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Tom's Geek Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to make this digital uh, little worm, or how I made it, um, uh, digitally sculpted and rendered. Uh, so I wanted something grub-like. I knew that. So I found a picture of a grub, and I used that as kind of my um, reference to start building out the rough geometry. Now, when you're doing digital sculpting, you usually start out with a really low poly, uh, what I call plug, like that just kind of resembles what you're trying to get, but has zero detail. And that's what you're seeing here. Uh, very low detail, um, but we're going to subdivide this and give it detail. So here you can see uh, the same plug as I start to subdivide it. And I've already started sculpting on this, so there's going to be details that pop in here. Uh, it doesn't look exactly like this when you start, it's just I've already started, um, but that's kind of what it looks like once you start giving it more resolution. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good so far, um, but there's still a lot of little details that we're going to add before this is finished. Um, so, it pretty much uh, works just like clay. I mean, you have multiple tools in here that allow you to either push or pull or smear or smooth uh, the surface. Um, and you just kind of, you know, you just kind of, you know, work on it. Here you can see me adding, uh, adding some little bumps and then I'm using a pinch tool that kind of pinches the surface to kind of sharpen some edges. Um, and I had no real design coming into, the, coming into this. Um, I kind of just did, like, I just kind of went with it. Um, I would just change things as I thought I thought needed. Um, and you can see now I'm getting more of the detail done. I've added, like, little cracks and, uh, you know, with this kind of, uh, with this kind of technique or using this, um, you really can uh, play around with different kind of things and add cracks and stuff. So, now that we've finished the sculpting part of it. Now I'm going to paint it, and uh, uh, painting's pretty straightforward. I didn't go crazy here with painting, and um, I usually tend to start with a darker um, base. So, like here on this tail, I think I did it all like kind of dark brown at first, and then I kind of build up layers of paint for the lighter colors. So um, that's what I'm doing here, and. Um, I'm really just kind of doing this quickly. I'm not wasting much time. Um, once this, um, the material itself, once it starts getting um, set up with reflections and uh, translucency and subsurface scattering, um, a lot of this stuff you're not even going to see. Um, so I didn't really go too crazy on making it perfect. Um, yeah, and uh, as you can see, um, you can either uh, paint the 3D. Uh, model with a lot of detail or you can paint it like this with uh, just on the low poly model if uh, if you want uh, I tend to paint on the high uh, high res model because I can just see where the uh, textures and stuff are See, yeah, it's looking pretty good. See, you look at it from afar, and it's it's good. And this is going to be rendered um, pretty small on screen um, for what I'm using it for. So, like, you're really not going to see a lot of this detail anyways. Um, but, yeah. So, here is a test kind of render um, of it once it's painted. And, uh, yeah, I guess it came out pretty nice. Um, I added teeth and uh, gums and stuff like that in the front there. So, anyways, that's just kind of the technique that I use for making these kind of creatures.